This man here wasn't picked on a team last year, got snubbed, and so what he did was he went out and won Player of the Year. Yeah! And he winds up with these That's guys. Right. <laughs> and he winds up with these guys. <laughs> and he's five for five. He was perfect last night. And they're not booing. They're yelling to. It off the sideboard. Yeah, there's a little filth behind that shot. And he's not going with urethane to start anyway. Look at he's going to curve it. And he is going to be stuck with a 2 8 10. And we saw that happen to BJ Moore when it ended up being the death blow. So he'll take his meds. NBA playoff champion Chris Prather continues his good times in this building. Hey, Tim Mack, can you hear Randy? See how he screws that thumb in sideways and then twists his hand back over to the right. Very unusual way of putting your hand in the bowling ball. Thumb first. Yeah, okay, 7-10. See you later. Got no time here tonight for you. Tommy Jones. Boy, does he look good. Like Kyle Troop, it's even more critical. He's been really good, and that was a really, really good shot. And if that doesn't pump your team up, nothing will. It has to. Max score for the Portland Lumberjacks, 248, even with that open. Big shot here for their team. Hoop, hey. Hoop there it is. What a great shot coming back to, from the 2810 he left in the second. Two straight on that lane. Both shots going high for Brad Miller on the left lane. Being told it went out to 7.5. He whipped oh, on the four pin. Boy, the second time we've seen a single pin miss tonight. Well, there'll be nothing light about what's going to happen here. Last time up, remember that ring and seven. Not this time. So, both. Both bowlers in that fourth spot set up the 10th frame for their team. Max score 213 for Dallas. Give him the heater, Ricky. He's got, uh, he can mix his speeds. He could come out of here with a cutter. Four seam fastball strike one. Now it's a four pin no game. Luck. Absolutely nailed it. Pressure back on the Lumberjacks. That's the guy you have in that position. Perfect. That last pin that jumped in the air looked like it had been squeezed out of a tube of toothpaste. First ball strike from the lot. Nine on the second ball. And they will win game one and move that much closer for a chance at the finals. Lumberjacks were there two years ago. They got beat by Dallas. Must strike. Now, my opinion is it's not the noise that got to Wes at all. No. He enjoys it. He's, what's he doing there, Randy? Changing tape at his thumb hole. Tempo, one to go over here. Let's go. Must strike. Oh, he's big and nasty. One more. But eight, eight, one will do it. Right. And he'll take it, he'll walk away, and he'll walk away a winner. The Lumberjacks have taken half of the race for two. And really try to blend the lane out by moving left and keeping the ball not so far right down lane. 
Here's Norm. Yeah, he starts backing that little up, that little way a little bit, you know. <laughs> Looking for their first strike of game two. There you go. Ask your playoff champion in this building to take care of business and put the X on the board. Bill O'Neill runner-up in the inaugural PBA playoffs. On the other side of the center, they call it the west side. Oh, my, a 10-pin. Shocked. Hey, by the way, how good has he been? And yeah, they're good. Well, that's why Parker's not in this competition. Exactly. Parker's got one of his sons who bowls two-handed and one-handed. Yeah, his kids are really talented. <laughs> so is this guy. Yeah. My heavens. TJ. Yeah, he's not bad either. Did you hear about that video that NASA sold to an intern way back? Uh, like in the six, like 67 or something uh, about that mission? And he bought it for like $219. Oh and now God. it's at auction for like $2 million. Oof. No. But I remember when Kyle oh. Troop had a messenger miss the 10 pin by about a centimeter. Wound him a little bit here, looking for a fifth straight strike for the Dallas side. As good a shot as you'll ever watch in your whole life. Tournaments on dual patterns this year on the PBA Tour. Yeah, you gotcha. knew it. You knew it. The dead giveaway when he loves his shot. For 56. <laughs> Guy's got some game. <laughs> they have a six-bagger. Got to have this one. Oh, and the shark, as they call him here in Portland, way wide right. And all of a sudden, it's time to start thinking about your roll-off. So, partner, we're going to a roll-off. Is Norm going to call Norm? doubling in the 10th to win game one. That was on the right lane. Oh, it's nasty. You nasty boy. Hey, hey, does he work for Allstate? Because that was the good hands people right there. Woo. Talk about a beautiful touch he put on that shot. And there's Timmy Max reaction. <laughs> what a shot. He just cabled it off his hand. Who knew it? Must strike here. Oh, let's play more. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Wow, that looked Jones. awkward. Surprisingly awkward. Fast and to the right. Oh my goodness. Kyle Troop's gonna take it. Kyle Troop for the home team to get to the finals and take on LAX. Kyle Troop needs nine or better. This is what you live for as a professional athlete. He got up to the approach and said, it's my time. It is his time. He got nine. The home team is moving on. 